Hello everyone, my name is Avkash and if you are like many others who are looking to start your journey with the Rust programming language, this video is for you. In this video, we are going to learn how to equip yourself by using the Visual Studio Code as your favorite IDE for your Rust programming language and we will learn how to add the required extensions to debug as well as run your Rust code in Visual Studio code. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to learn the installing various runtime as well as the debug time extension in Visual Studio to get your Rust code run as well as the debug with the help of various extensions related to Rust programming language. So let's get ourselves started. Here I have Visual Studio code in front of you. And here is the command prompt, which is open at my terminal. And I'm using the Z shell on my Mac book. And if I try to use the Rust C, you can see that I do not have the Rust compiler installed in this machine. So first thing, after you have downloaded Visual Studio code, we need to install the Rust compiler support through the available extension. So here is the extension and here we could search for Rust specific extensions and you will see that very first one is the Rust analyzer. 1.3 million downloads. So we can look into that this is exactly what we are looking for. And here, if you would want to support Rust in Visual Studio code, we can see that Rust analyzer is the main extension which is going to apply the Rust specific environment which support code completion, compilation, as well as any other functionality related to Rust in your Visual Studio code. So we are going to check the Rust analyzer. If you are interested to learn more about it, here is the open source uh, GitHub repo where this code has been implemented. That is something you can spend your time to learn more about it. And here is the components or the features which are part of Rust analyzer. So you see that it actually installed the Rust up. So now we are going to go ahead and we will install the Rust here. So we will select Rust, install. As you could see, that installation is in progress. Our extension has been installed. So now we have Rust analyzer is installed in our environment. Now I will be opening this Rust home folder. So here is the Rust home folder in my machine. And as you could see that there is a Rust analyzer and it requires us to reload the workspace because when we install, we really need to make sure that Rust analyzer extension is actually loaded with our Visual Studio environment. I will go ahead and close Visual Studio and I will restart it. So the error message which was related to Rust was that the Rust analyzer failed to discover workspace. You can open this toaster, which gives you more information about it. Let's go ahead and open the terminal and Rust C. Now you see that Rust compiler is not there yet. So now we need to make sure that we do have the Rust install in this machine because I wanted to show you that Rust analyzer is not going to install the Rust compiler on your machine. You would have to install that separately. That's why you are not able to see the Rust. So let's install the Rust on this Mac. If you are using Windows or Linux or any other operating system, you have to make sure that you are installing the Rust language as well. So here is the Rust installation script and as you could see that we are using the curl. I will be using this terminal to install the Rust through the given command. Let me run this. Proceed with the installation. Let's go ahead.
and as you could see that it is going to install the rust in my working folder dot cargo folder and then it's going to set up the path environment specific to rust rust is installed now we can say rust c compiler is not avail available because we have to source it out so we will take this command and we will run it now we say rust and it went well and now we can say rust version it installed the latest 1.66.1 version in this machine after we have installed the rust now we will go ahead and restart our visual studio code visual studio code has been restarted our terminal is coming up and the rust is available on our terminal then we can look into the support for rust extension so we can look into the rust extension it is installed and so far we haven't seen any other problem specific to it now we just need to make sure that we are able to take this let me run this manage extension at this point you could see that rust analyzer is giving this error is that rust analyzer failed to discover workspace and that is because whenever we are using the rust analyzer extension with visual studio code it is depending on a particular configuration file which has to be created so first we need to look into if we have access to cargo library so you see here this cargo library is the rust package manager so we need to make sure that we could create this project configuration for whatever project we are creating for our rust code so we need to create the package for our this particular project or rust project to be very clear so we, we need to say cargo new and our project name and project we call it rust home that is our project name and as you could see here in this folder rust home this rust home is created and it created the main dot rust and that is the main dot rust which created and inside the rust home in this folder this rust home project is created and that's where the cargo dot toml is created now we can go ahead and use this rust home as our working folder rather than this rust home so i just wanted to make sure that whenever you are using the code something like that you need to make sure that your rust home is created so i will go ahead and close this workspace and i will open a new workspace and now here is our source code here is our main dot rust and if you will be looking into rust analyzer you will see that there are no particular error related with rust analyzer it means that we have created a project and that project is basically is our project related to overall rust as you could see here it is just indexing the code related with our overall project if you have lots of dot rs file no problem now whole analysis is done looks like the rust anal analyzer is ready to go let's do the terminal rust home now we could say rust c version here to run this main.rs here is our run we could run it oh sorry restart run hello world that's the message we wanted to print if we want to debug it we really need to install the some kind of debugger extension in order to debug this code so let's install the code llb which is visual studio native debugger as you could see it's over 2.7 million million installs this is code ll debugger make sure that installation is successful without any issue i do not see any issue we can go back to the code here is our main.rs let's try to put debugger run and debug So it could read the cargo.toml because that is what's needed. Now our debugger can pick it up. It's asking to access the debugger tools. That's the debug console. Let's add that configuration and save it, close it. 
let's come back to the code here debug okay so this message was there so now if you would want to put a breakpoint here just put a breakpoint do the debug let's see if our, if the breakpoint hits yes breakpoint is hitting then we can go to jump whatever we would want to do let's run and that's where if you would want to add one more line here for example and you say this and if you would run the debugger that's the where we are we can jump one hello world second exit and then finally run okay now it's okay so now at least we know that our debugger is working and our run is working so we have installed two different extension in our visual studio one is the rust analyzer so we could make our visual studio support rust second we had to install the code lldb which is needed for us to support the debugging and once we have installed these two product along with rust in our machine and now we have ability to use the visual studio code to write the rust programming language let's come back here and i have some other code which i could paste here and that's just a bunch of code related with rust so just want to make sure that code works save run everything looks good here so now we know that we have ability to use the rust compiler plus debugger in our visual studio code and that is exactly what's the objective of this tutorial